So to, to understand how our treatment for ALS works, you, you first need to understand what some people call one of the central dogmas of biology, which is there's DNA, RNA, and then protein. And the DNA, you can think of it like a blueprint. Let's say, for example, building a house. It's kind of the prints that say the instructions of how to build a house. That's your DNA. And that's in every cell in your body. It tells you how to make a human being and how to continue to help that human being function. That's the DNA. The DNA is cumbersome. It's written in a code that's hard to understand. It gets rewritten into this stuff called RNA. RNA is a better set of instructions. The RNA is the instructions for how to make stuff, like the proteins, for example. You know, the proteins is the wires, the bricks, the pipes that are part of the house. So now you've got a genetic mistake. The mistake's in the DNA. It's way up top. It's in that set of instructions. But then it gets rewritten and that mistake goes on down to the RNA. Oh no, now there's a mistake in my instructions. When you have a mistake in the instructions, the stuff you're making on the other end, the pipes, the bricks, the carpet for the house, all of that stuff has now got a mistake in it too because there's a mistake in the instructions. And actually, you know, it's like a house. It goes on for a while. It's fine. 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, it's fine. But then you realize that there's a problem. And that problem, whether it be in a brick, or that problem is in the pipes or in the wiring, there's a problem because of that mistake that was in the instructions. And that problem got written in long ago, and now it's there. And then that problem begins to take the house down. That one mistake is something that begins to crumble. And then the whole house begins to fall. And that's the way that I think of genetic ALS. There's a mistake in the DNA which gets rewritten to the RNA. And that leads to problems in the stuff used to build the human body. And it just doesn't do well after typically in ALS, say 40 to 50 years. When we develop a targeted therapy focused on that genetic uh, uh, mistake, we go after the RNA and there's a set of instructions that, where there's a problem, a mistake. And we can use uh, these molecules that we're calling antisense oligonucleotides or antisense for short and go in and erase that mistake. And if you erase the mistake, then those problems that we're building up downstream the pipes that don't fit, the wiring that's off, the carpet that's bad, the bricks that are out of order. Those no longer occur. And one of the amazing things about the human body that I think is important to point out is we have an incredible capacity for repair. We're constantly repairing ourselves. We're constantly correcting mistakes. And so I've built it up as if there's but one mistake in your genetic code that leads to this huge set of problems. Our bodies are making mistakes all the time. We're just cleaning them up. And that's probably why people survive 40 to 50 years with some huge mistake causing large problems because our bodies clean it up. And so if we can help erase that part in the RNA where that mistake was written in, if we can help erase that, we think that the body will then slowly recover and can actually heal as it does in many other processes where the uh, mistakes that are made, the problems that occur, are in fact cleaned up and made better.